Halo is no longer what it once was. That This much is obvious. But as it continues to slip further and further away from what it was, it becomes less and less recognizable to the people that have been around the longest. Been around in Halo the longest. And maybe that's part of why they keep these players keep turning away keep leaving yes you can make the argument that they're getting older and they have more complicated lives less time to play video games and that's assuredly a part of it but when you look at Halo as a series and how it's changed and all the ways that it's changed from gameplay to art style to sound design to music it's almost absurd because so little of what we used to know to be Halo what we used to just look at Halo or think about Halo and think about what it looked like rather it's it's gone there's nothing holding the old guard down to what they used to know and people will levy defenses to this. Ah, uh, it needed to change, it needed to grow, it's always a grown, it's always evolved. There's a point where you've changed too much. Where if you can't even recognize what it once was in what it currently is, you've gone too far. And like I said, it, Halo has been changed in almost every way. There is so little left. So few things that are just Halo. You've got weapons that don't sound right, a game that doesn't really look right. It's all gone. And to see people sit around and ask the people who've been around the longest, well, why don't you think it's Halo anymore? Why would you even say that? It's still Halo. It's got Halo on the box. So they still own the rights to Halo. They can still publish it as Halo. And yet I see fan projects that more more strictly follow the old tenets of what Halo was than what the people who are currently making official Halo games it's crazy because going from Halo 3 to Halo Reach two games both made by Bungie we had a change we had a change in direction or art direction specifically and a very character-driven story, yes. But it still... It still felt like a Halo experience overall. And while I can levy complaints against it, I can't say that it isn't Halo at its core because you can disable all of the armor abilities the major changes to gameplay and it will more or less play like a Halo game sure there's bloom but there are there's at least the version there is a version of reach with no bloom or game type versions of reach reach game type versions uh, never mind. I'm thinking about the right way to say that. There, there's you can play Reach without Bloom and without any of the armor abilities, and it will it'll play like Halo more or less. And then you get to Halo Five and or Halo Four. It's like Halo Reach's art style was different. Halo 4's art style is, what am I playing? 
And the same with Halo 5, which has kept that art style intact. To the detriment of Halo, I would say. It's just, it's, it's gone. If I started up Halo 4, and on the first level I saw the Forward Into Dawn, the ship that we saw at the, or the half of the Forward Into Dawn, the half that we saw at the end of Halo 3, the same model, I would go, oh, I know where I am. This was at the end of Halo 3. And if the Chief wakes up in his suit, and it's the Mark 6 from Halo 3, I'm gonna go, oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm in it, I'm in it. Changes to the weapons, I disagree with in most circumstances that they were changed. The BR looks ugly as hell in Halo 4 and Halo 5. Uh, other things, like the, the Needler, I don't mind, but it's still weird. And then you, you completely took out the plasma rifle and replaced it with this lackluster purple rifle crap. And it's like, and the character models are all different, and the game screams at you from the very get-go, I'm not Halo. Chief looks different, Cortana looks different, the ship looks different, enemies look different. Oh, the assault rifle looks the same, the pistol looks the same, the plasma pistol looks the same. Oh, look, there's the carbine. Needler. It's different, but it's car Needler. Excuse me. And and I'm running through. Gameplay's different. Sprinting. God. The game is different. And I know that's just a simple statement, but it, it it's so different on so many levels. It really isn't. Halo. Fundamentally, this game was designed to be something that is not Halo, because they wanted to bring Halo forward, they wanted to evolve it, they wanted to change it. It didn't need to change. It really didn't. And this is going to seem like an odd, slightly odd comparison, but The Force Awakens, Star Wars Episode Seven, gets shit on by some people because it's it's safe. It's a safe Star Wars movie because it, it rehashes plot points from episode 4 and 5 and 6 to a certain extent. But considering the the crap that Star Wars went through in the prequels, having a safe Star Wars film was exactly what that franchise needed. After the Rocky release of Reach, Rocky release and reception of Reach, and I suppose it wasn't like horridly Rocky. I don't get why Halo 4 wasn't safe. And then, after Halo 4 had really Rocky reception in terms of multiplayer and a population that literally died after a month, how was Halo 5 not seen to be, let's make a safe old Halo game? It really boggles my mind. You have a community that really doesn't like the developer a whole lot. And I know they've been working trying to improve just communication with us. And the fact that they can't communicate with us is should be a warning sign on so many levels. And people will justify that and go, well, so many other developers don't really talk to their communities. I'm like, well, they should. There's a bunch of other developers that get crapped on by their communities, and they just, they don't, they don't talk to them. They don't even try to mend their bridges. I'll give 343 credit. They're, they're trying to talk to us. You know, we're not the, not the best people to be talking to. Some of us are bad YouTubers and just talk out of their asses. I'm making fun of myself, dear God. But but 
the fact that a large part of their community, 343's community, Halo's community, rather, can sit here and go, you're not making Halo. You're just making a sci-fi shooter with Halo's name slapped on it. And employees within 343 go, how can you say that? It's still Halo. What are you smoking, dude? This this game is not Halo. It really isn't. And the fact that you keep trying to change it further and further and further away with more and more redesigns and the sound design is completely, completely gone. Whereas Halo 5 or Halo 4 used half a percent of the existing Halo sound library going into that game, almost all of those sounds that I used to recognize are gone for Halo 5. God, God forbid we, we have anything that ties us back to what Halo was. Uh, Halo's roots? That's just what made it popular. We, we shouldn't continue that shit. It didn't sell well. Oh yeah, yeah it did. And we we pointed out those sales numbers to them time and time again. Uh, Halo 5's population is fine, fine. It might be fine, but is it where it should be? With the heights that Halo has had, how are you how are you content with going Halo's population is fine? Not how can we make this population better? How can we get more people into Halo? How can we make the best Halo game that we possibly can. And I know that they're asking these questions. They have to be. But they're also asking how can we make the best first person shooter. And that's not the it's not the way you can develop this game. You can't just make a good first person shooter. You have to make a good Halo game. Halo happens to be a first person shooter with tight shooting mechanics and fun gameplay. But you have to make a fun game. And Bungie was phenomenal at just putting the player first and being, is this fun? Would we have fun playing this? Not, how can I make a game that will sell? Because they knew if their games were fun, people would buy them. That was the design philosophy for Halo CE. They made a game that they would want to buy. And people bought it. It sold the Xbox. Halo 2 sold Xbox Live. Halo 3... Halo 3 built a community. Built the biggest gaming community that the world had ever seen. And sure, other communities have grown bigger and larger and farther. Halo is really special for being the community that was just phenomenally huge at the time. It's 2007. And yet people think about 2007 and think about Halo. And this is this has gone off in an interesting direction from what I originally thought I was gonna make this video and this is my fifth or sixth recording and all I can think about is damn I wish I had another Halo game a real honest to god Halo game a game that looks and sounds and plays like Halo 1 and Halo 2 and Halo 3 not a carbon copy Halo 1, 2, and 3, 1, 2, and 3, God. They're all different and unique in their own ways. Halo's been trying to juggle the fourth pillar since Halo 3, really. And I don't think it ever needed a fourth pillar. The fourth pillar is the community. This community needs to come together and just agree that th 
that maybe maybe both sides have merits and I know this is kind of a 180 from hey Halo's different and should go back but Both sides have a reason to exist, but but the side that exists because of Reach and 4 and 5 is pioneering of enhanced mobility trends in the AAA shooting space, trends in general in the gaming industry, it's it's really sad to see something that was held up as the greatest game, the greatest first person shooter of all time, now just be sidelined to all the random crap that comes out year after year. Because this community is broken. And it hurts. It's hurting. Like, hey, we got we got MLG and Halo back together. Thank God. But what else do we have going for us right now? The community's in a dark spot because three for three can't talk about their next project. They don't. Um, we don't know what they're gonna be doing. We just want it to be good, really fucking good. And I suppose we won't know until we see it, but most of the people that I know don't really have hope for it. They're not looking forward to it. And I'm sure that'll change once we actually have some news about it. To some degree it'll change at least. But but 343 hasn't instilled confidence in this community for various reasons and if they keep changing Halo for the sake of change I don't think this community is going to stick around the new or old community is going to stick around very long and maybe Halo will actually die and that might be sadder than watching it tear itself to pieces. To know that maybe we could have saved it if we'd done something different. Thanks for listening.